All right, here we go. Easter weekend, 2016. Got my water trap done from my air compressor. So that's done. Um, there it is, coming out of the air compressor there, and it goes up over the top and down into this uh, configuration of PVC pipe uh, each valve you open up separately one at a time and lets a little bit more moisture out of the line so that by the time you get down to this last one uh, you'll have very little water if any in your uh, airline so that's it there. But took me a lot of cutting, a lot of sanding, a lot of a lot of uh, gluing, and of course I got a cut off at the end there before it actually goes into my shop, so I can get all the water out before I actually open the valve and let it go into my regulator. So and there's the tank. Uh, water release right there and I just drilled a hole into the floor and ran it out the end here so I can see if what's coming out of it as I'm opening the valve so I do that first and then I do the water trap valves and then it goes in out of the air compressor shed into my shop which I still got to caulk around that one hole, both them holes, and then it comes in here, goes up, around, into my regulator, and then out of the regulator and up to my coil, my uh, hose reel, and then I just take her, plug her into whatever I'm going to use, my blast cabinet there on the side or whatever. That's pretty much it. Nice, clean, waterless air, which will be important once I start blasting and uh, once I start uh, painting. So, but anyway, that's it, and it works good. I actually got to give me some earplugs, I guess, because the uh, shed is so tight and it's so much pressure blowing through there when I pop that first. Uh, valve open on the water trap it actually damn near pops my ear so I gotta give me some ear plugs but anyway it took me about uh, I got the uh, PVC that was rated for 480 PSI my tank only goes up to 175 so that's more than enough PSI for the tubing um, took me about 60 foot of straight PVC pipe uh, about 18 elbows five of those valves could have probably gotten away with just three but I don't know a little bit more is better than not enough so uh, and, and I think a couple T T valves and uh, that was about it and then the glue and the primer for gluing it all together but anyway that's it and all that I got at Lowe's and it came to about 55 bucks so Relatively cheap, 55 bucks. You can build yourself a water trap. And it's important if you're going to paint or sandblast because it eliminates all the water out of your airline. Alright, and then of course there's Mia Mia. And the XS 650 project. I'll never get that thing done. <laughs> yeah, I will. Anyway, all right, that's it. Say bye, Mia. Say cool beans. All right, happy Easter. Bye.